I visualized this star on on the stage and 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 it beginning to re rotate and I and I started um going to get excited about that and uh how can I make how can I make that star rotate musically so I just I just put one, two, three, four, five, and I'd rotate it once, so one went there, five, four, three, two, and then I'd rotate it twice, and then so the one was there, and, and, and then you start getting these uh, magic squares of numbers. Um, and luckily, the sort of oldest example of recent Chinese music is a pentatonic scale. It's five notes, and it misses out the fourth, and it's just... And I wrote the whole overture using a five-point star, and just uh, so uh, uh, I just used those 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 uh, five notes. Um, like for example, so number one was. Number two was. system and it was semi-automatic music and so that's when I got started getting really excited about this opera and I started writing arias through this and it it just became really um, that was the turning point that was it that's that's where I sort of uh, I made that critical shift you have to when you've been right been a songwriter into being a composer it's time to try out Damon's star system with the orchestra and who better to write the whole slightly baffling thing out than the composer himself, armed with nothing but a whiteboard and a marker pen. Can you all see this board, this sort of grid? It's quite important that you can see it. You allocated a number, that corresponds with a particular line, so a bar, and every time that number crops up on the grid, you play. It's, it's a very, very simple part that you will be playing. The thing that's a bit of a head fuck is just staying on top of it and counting. One, two, three, two, two, three, four. that far off the sort of mathematics of uh, Bach and, you know, I, I, I suspect everything I've discovered has been... Discovered by some... Oh, yeah, before. yeah, many, many times before. But it's kind of, you know, you have to get there and, you know, and I suppose you, you add something to it by discovering it for yourself. You add another little twist. <laughs> Miraculous news from China. After months of casting, director Xi Zheng has finally found the cast of his dreams. Well, that was really exciting. You found some people. I'm yes. so pleased. <laughs> so do I. I found them yesterday in China, in Beijing, literally. Xi Zheng sent Jamie some video of the cast. But will the performers meet with the designer's approval? Monkey. Which I quite like. He seems to like he's maybe a bit drunk. <laughs> mm. 
我像猪八戒，我肚子特别大，我什么都爱吃，我就是不吃苦。给我叫猪八戒，我耳朵特别长，我听呀听呀听。This is the actor she then found to play Pigsy. He's a singer and a martial artist. I want to go and drink some ghost wine with him. <laughs> what a laugh. <laughs> He's brilliant. Were you worried about the casting? Well, when we were in China and all that casting was starting, I was thinking to myself, this is ridiculous. Why, why are they doing this point so late? It just seems crazy. And so Zhang just said, this is how we always do it. And he was very relaxed about it. And they've done it, so that's obviously how they always do it. They just, you know, leave it to the last minute. <laughs> Shi Zheng's found the whole cast now, but he keeps throwing in a few extras as he goes along. Like this, the umbrella woman. Wait for You're joking. <laughs> How did she do that, huh? No way. Another way all this new stuff keeps coming to us that we weren't told about. <laughs> the Umbrella Woman. That was amazing, but where does that go? Over at Damon's, he's upping the stakes yet again, working with this man, Thomas Block, owner and maestro player of three of the rarest instruments in the world. There's nowhere else in the world, I can guarantee it, there's nowhere else in the world at the moment that would have these three instruments in the same room, that's for sure. This is the Onde Martineau, one of the earliest electric instruments. The keyboard also moves. He's, very, he's a very clean musician. He washes his hands an awful lot. But, I mean, that's because you can't get any grease on, on or especially on the glass harmonica, because it, it won't play if you do. I have to prepare the instrument. You, you know, it looks a little bit like a kind of a kebab but uh, without meat, just with uh, glasses. It's the same kind of instruments than when you play on the normal glasses in a restaurant. This is the glass harmonica, invented by Benjamin Franklin in 1761. They're a kind of missing link, in a way, from what I've been doing in the studio to what, what is possible within in orchestration. So they're really important. And this, created in 50s France, is the Crystal Bachet. The plan is to replicate and augment the synthesizer sounds that Damon made on his early demos on Thomas's instruments. Then Thomas will join the Monkey Orchestra in Manchester in June. Tell me whether you think this might work. On Omi Tofu. You know, they're just the chant. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was thinking the percussive sounds okay. of the crystal bass. Great. Shape, Let's have a go. At double that. it. Great. So I've got the part for that. I think. Dum 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 dum. So just play around with that. Don't play the notes. Just whatever. You it's. Know? I'm well, trying to do you a clean. I'm trying to do you a cleaner copy. These otherworldly sounds will add a whole new layer to Damon's composition. This is fantastic. I love it because it, it, it evokes... It gives a counter rhythm as well. But it evokes that kind of sense of China without having to become too sort of cheesy. Yeah. 